Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody is going to enjoy the Memorial Day weekend. And we honor those that have served and died for us in this country and around the world. So anyway, uh, just playing around with the radio right now. Not a lot of people on. It's uh, almost lunchtime here and uh, where we are. Uh, but I just wanted to go over some of the filtering on the Yaesu FT-991 Alpha. Uh, I'm assuming it would work for the 991 standard, the original. But uh, as you can see, I'm parked over here on 40 meter. And uh, static's not too bad right now. Noise floor is about two and, a, two and three quarters, so not too bad. And I don't have any filtering on. I also don't have the preamps on. I just want to show you real quick. If you want to do some filtering on the static, on the noise, hit your uh, your F key, your function button real quick. You got your notch filter. That's great for adjacent stations, your contour, your uh, digital noise reduction, and your digital noise filter, which the DNF is really good. Let me zoom in for you. The DNF is really good for when uh, you have gentlemen out there using their automatic antenna tuner. This will take that tone right out. That beeping and that squealing and whatever else, that will take that right out. Your digital noise reduction is a 15 option filter. You hear how that static went away? I usually keep it on a four, one or two. The only ever time and you can notice it takes away that hiss. It kind of makes it sound like it's underwater. The only time I ever use the 15 is when I'm trying to hear a weak station, say in Japan or something like that, that really isn't coming in on a 15 meter very well. And that digital noise reduction will obviously take out all that hiss and static. The contour is another thing I use quite often. Uh, 1200 hertz is a good spot for me uh, sometimes about 800 hertz or so is another good spot or even six 600 hertz is a good spot depends on how high your noise floor is and noise to you know noise ratio is uh, whether you're trying to hear a station or not another thing to do is the width I usually keep mine about 2400 hertz but you can widen it up if you're listening to AM or sideband, depending on your ear. If you widen it up, you'll kind of have a way of hearing adjacent signals that are near you, nearby. There's not a lot of people on today. So hoping we could find somebody talking. But the band seemed pretty quiet today. So the contour helps. Reducing your width helps. With noise, also your shift. You can shift left and right on a frequency. So if there's an adjacent station or maybe a, uh, a birdie or something, you can shift off. It's not going to shift your uh, transmit. It's just going to shift your receive. And uh, what else we got? And your standard noise blanker. That's very helpful. Power line noise. Or if you're in a vehicle, your alternator, things like that. You can hit the uh, ATT button there. That will decrease the signal. That's your attenuator. Uh, <clears throat> especially if you have booming stations. If you have stations that are really close and loud, and then quiet stations, hit the ATT button. It'll keep everything to a normal level. Every station coming in will be at a good, good level for listening. So you're not sitting there adjusting your uh, your volume button every five seconds. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And the automatic gain control, uh, I use that. There's fast, mid, medium, slow, and auto. And that will adjust the uh, attenuator to the stations coming in on receive. And on sideband, I usually keep it on fast or slow. Uh, it depends on how quickly the... Uh, the stations are coming in. If they're rag chewing, I'll keep it on auto or slow. And then fast for like POTA operators and things like that. 
So uh, that's that. I just wanted to go over just a little bit there. Not to get too technical, make it a little easy for you. This is my Cricket 113. Hope you have a great weekend. 7-3 for now, and I'll talk to you soon.